G'day everyone. Welcome to uh, another beautiful day in uh, the paradise that is uh, Uzunguni in Arusha, where my gallery is located. As you can see, we're uh, taking precautions as uh, most people are, being careful, washing hands down here. Uh, also getting out to the fresh air and uh, over here I have been photographing a beautiful little shield bug nymph. I don't know if you can see him there. Anyway, I'll show you a photograph that I've gotten there. And back over here, something I prepared, as a chef would say, something I prepared a little earlier. I've got uh, two examples of the most common chameleon that occurs here and they're very widespread in this area. So first up, in my crudely made temporary keeper, I've got a, oh, a very feisty female, Kilimanjaro, oh, very jumpy, Kilimanjaro two-horned chameleon. It's a female because she doesn't have the two horns, which only the males have. Oh, and they love to jump. Oh, and they love to bite too, but uh, no teeth, just uh, kind of like a serrated lips. There we go. I'm going to let her go. Probably back in this uh, bush behind me here, which is very popular with the chameleons at the moment. And oh, jump back in her cage. And this guy that I found last night on my wall at home as we were driving in the gate is one of the cutest and smallest chameleons that I've ever found. It is a, by the looks of it, maybe a little male. Looks like he's got the beginnings of horns. I'll give you an idea of just how small he is there. You can see him on my ugly pinky finger. Whoop! There we go. They just discovered the world's smallest reptile a few weeks ago in Madagascar, species of chameleon that doesn't grow, probably doesn't grow any bigger than this, probably smaller than this full grown. But this is a, a newly hatched chameleon. I'm also going to let him go in that, uh, in that bush behind me. So yeah, this has been a, uh, another fruitful morning on the garden safari. Not getting out very much at the moment, but hoping to uh, get back in the bush more often soon. But in the meantime, there's uh, plenty to keep me occupied in this garden. I think I've spotted another creepy crawly over there that I need to go and photograph. So it's time for me to, uh, to sign off from this episode of the Garden Safari. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for some more creepy crawlies. And from me and this little guy, it is goodbye for now. See you soon, stay safe everyone.